God save the queen. Raise her up victorious over thine enemies. God. Let her word born from the bowels of the king's language. Let her word be spread throughout the land. Oh God. Beyond what thine eyes can see, let freedom ring. Let freedom ring. Piercing the ears of the deaf and dumbfounded. The savage with or without home. The savage. The animal with or without heart, the savage, the savage, the animal, the savage. Oh God, oh God. Has the queen been saved? Has her plantations been saved? What say of Barbados or Jamaica? And Europe is God. And everything else is the devil. Europe is God and everything else is the devil. Everything. The Portuguese, the Dutch, the French, the Spanish, the Americans. Rewriting humanity together, hand in hand. Husband and bride. Victoria in her death heart, her death ship, her deathism, death by longitude, death by the Atlantic. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. All aboard. All aboard, all aboard. All aboard death camps in Bristol and London. Check down in the gallery. Check down in the gallery. More death camps in Aberdeen and Plymouth. 30p ahead, check down in the gallery. The frozen dead leading captains to tombs of fortune and salvation. Check down in the galley. Europe an empty salt mine before. Before 20 million pounds. 
20 million pounds, 20 million pounds, 20 million pounds. 20 million pounds on your head. Million pounds. 65 billion pounds, 65 billion pounds on your head, 65 billion pounds, 65 billion pounds on your head. Check down in the gallery. Forty-six thousand British slave owners bell out, 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 bell out. Compensated for losing property, for losing all humanity, all mind, all dignity. Compensated emancipation. Are we free? Who builds death like this? August 26, 1883. August 1st, 1834. Four to six years without pay, bounded, bounded to unpaid labor, bounded without citizenship, without name, without language. Check down in the gallery. Rich before crime, rich during the crime, and rich after. Just enough. Just enough to build a city, a country, an infrastructure, a financial revolution, a wider God, a stronger Christianity. Just enough. Just enough. Who builds death like this? Who builds death like this? The Romans? The Dutch, the Portuguese, the French, the Spanish. Who builds death like this? And can't stop and won't stop. And can't find any room for reparations. Who builds death like this?
1856. The opening of the National Portrait Gallery full of lies. Europeans first encounter with the mirror and look how they see themselves. In the famous painting of Queen Victoria, she is presenting a Bible to a Moor in Windsor called The Secret of England's Greatness. Who builds death like this? Who builds death like this? And can't stop, won't stop. God, God, God. Who builds death?
At any moment, at any moment, you're coming around, around. At any moment, the queen, the queen, the queen, she'll be coming around, around. She'll be coming around. At any moment, she'll be coming around. She'll be coming around the Tilbury docks. She'll be coming around. She'll be coming around. She'll be coming around Black Boy Hill. She'll be coming around. She'll be coming around to teach me how whiteness bridges the geographical. How it bridges continental boundaries with handshakes and IOUs. She'll be coming around. To the fact of blackness and how anti-blackness colonized every domain of truth, every domain, every property of the queen. So when I say the truth will do you no good here, you will understand the hostile environment of breathing, walking, talking, dreaming against the law. They'll be coming around. They'll be coming around, the Tories, the Liberals, the Conservatives. They'll be coming around to deliver another blow, choking, 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 choking. They'll be coming around. The house of common death and deeds. The house of lords of no reprise. 1780, St. Paul's Cathedral. Eighteen fifty-seven, Victoria and Albert's Museum. 4.6 million objects that span a period of 5,000 years. Eighteen fifty-eight. Big Ben. Sixteen sixty-nine, the Tower of London. The prison of London. From 11, from 1100 to 1952, right on the Windrush generation, right on the hills, right on the hills. 1669. The crown jewels. Where do they get the money? Where do they get the money? And who paid it back? Who burned it? How long did it burn? Who had to breathe in the smoke? Who had to chase the smoke away? Who was the alarm? Who got tossed in the fire? Who's still burning? Who's still feeling the burn? 
1816. How long did it take to pay off the trauma? From 1834 to 2015, you've been paying for it all your life. With just enough left over to buy a pint and a lie, a burning truth. Wrapped in the bosom of Mary, then Peter. 1832, how long did it take to pay off the trauma? How long did it take to pay off the trauma? How long did it take to pay off the trauma? The madness, the infrastructure, the bands, the ports, the parks, the castles, the churches, the universities. How long did it take to pay off the trauma? storm keeps on raging, keeps on raging, keeps on raging. My soul has been anchored here in the storm, and the storm keeps on raging.
my soul, my soul is anchored here. And the storm keeps you raging, keeps you raging. Liverpool wins. Liverpool wins, Liverpool wins, Liverpool wins. Out of the dust. Out of the dust, Liverpool wins, Liverpool wins, Liverpool wins, out of the dust. Out of the dust. 
Liverpool wins after the Romans, after the great fire, the plague, the war, the enslaved, the bell out, the artifacts. Liverpool wins. Every port, every single port, every worker, every man, woman, invested in the business of shipping bodies. Humans, laborers, and indentured servants. Every businessman and woman guilty guilty taxpayers of erasure taxpayers of relapse of erasure of amnesia paying off the crimes that you pay for the trauma the horror, the whip from the sugar cane, the poison of the tobacco. Out of the dust. Some think it's magic. Some think it's magic the way the ship forces itself through the darkness. The sound, the sound of copper being forced to work. The sound of suffering. Chains heavy, screaming, chanting the sound. The sound, the sound, the sound. I recognize these spells. I recognize these spells, these chanting. The sound of everything at once. The sound under a sky you can't see, on top of water you can't feel the sound. The 
chanty, the chanty, the chanty, the chanty, the chanty. The sound. I recognize these spells. And I know even in death the chanting continues. You can almost hear the chaos of people gathering spells and curses in their head. A billion curses left in the water, you can feel them, feel them. The sound of us resisting. The sound of us resisting even in death haunting. Haunting. The crew, the ship, the future, no one sleeps haunting. The sound. Mouth to mouth, foot to foot, the sound. You hear the bells, you hear the bells, you hear the bells. How did I survive? You hear the bells, you hear the bells. Because they say if you're still breathing, you shouldn't be here. And their fear is forever. And there is no future, you hear the bells. The sound. Ritual of mutiny, death and peace. The sound. The sound. The sound. The sound of copper forced to exercise, force fed, force dead, force overboard. The sound. I recognize these spells. Spells. How did I stop? Fifty days from Angola, the guns are waiting, they're waiting, they're waiting. They're waiting and there's not enough room to escape, to escape all the eyes, all the eyes, all the eyes, all the eyes. A billion curses left in the water. And you can feel them, you can feel them haunting, you can feel them. The sound of us resisting, even in death. Haunting. Out of the dust.
Left in the water, the water, the water. You can feel it. The sound. The sound, the sound, the sound, the sound, the sound, the sound. A thousand curses left in the water. The water, the water, the water. The water. Oh, Jesus. 